All right, so today's video is gonna be a bit different. Instead of a one day build, it's gonna be a one week build. And basically this last week has been like hell week for me. Uh, I think I put in close to like 70, maybe 80 hours just to build this app. And also I had to edit this video and the footage that I had, I think I had like 15 hours of footage. So uh, it was quite tough to get this done. But now it is done. There's been like struggles with posting the app too, with like uh, getting rejected from the Apple App Store several times. Like, I think it was like five days in a row I got rejected. There were some bugs in the app, so it was good that it got rejected, but it was super annoying when it happened. But anyway, let's uh, get started. So uh, in last week's video, what I did was I created a script, a Python script that went to the Google Calendar API and then got all of my events for every week. And then it would give me something that looks like this. Uh, for work one, you've planned to spend four and a half hours this week. For exercise, you plan to spend four hours. Uh, so basically this is what we get right now. And my plan is to, like I said, make this into an actual app that will display this a bit nicer and, and make it a bit more usable. And now I'm gonna get into actually designing the app. And uh, the way I like to do this is just by going to Pinterest and uh, I sort of just get inspiration from what other people uh, create and then kind of look at the different color schemes and how they combine different colors uh, to make it look really good. So for instance, like there might be a lot of different things for like calendars or something. This is one design for a calendar that looks pretty cool, I think. And then um, you can see this one too. That's another design for a calendar. It looks good as well. This one, so basically I just look through different things that I know I'm going to use, things that are similar to what I'm going to use, and then I try to create something uh, similar to that and based on the color theme that I've chosen. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm going to do now. So um, this is what the design looks like right now, the, what I came up with. Basically this, uh, all these like purple lines represent like paths. There's probably a better way to do it, but that's how I do it. Yeah, so that's pretty much it for just the design of the app. Like this is the, I'd call this the MVP, so the minimum viable product. So now what I need to do is to be able to get the data from Google Calendar, the app needs to authenticate you so that you can access your information basically. So let's have a look. So now I have the base Flutter project started again, like in so many videos before. Basically the way that I like to start when I build my apps is to try to just print something to the screen. So I, don't, I won't really mind what's here for now. I'll just kind of uh, create something where it's like if I press the button then it'll get some sort of response and it'll print that to like the terminal. That's what we're going to start with. I, I want to just try to connect to the Google Calendar API and uh, get some response. I don't care really what the response is, just some sort of response. So that's step one. All right, this is day two now, and uh, I've probably spent close to 12 hours just trying to get the whole like uh, user authentication to work so that you can actually get stuff from the Google Calendar. Also kind of went down a, a bit of a rabbit hole uh, because I added uh, Firebase to, to the app so that now you can log in as a user, which wasn't really necessary and I didn't really want to do that, but seemed like that was the only way to get the authentication to work. And then once I'd gotten that to work, I also got the authentication to work and I think those can work separately. And I kind of thought that at the start as well, but uh, basically I just Googled things until I found out how to do it. And now it says no email here, but if I press this button, then this thing comes up, allow access to the Google calendar. So we will just do that. It should have my email address, so it's verified. 
So now when I press that add button, it should get, yep. All right. So now we get all of this is response for the calendar. So I have all the events for this week or for whatever time I set. So now all that's left is just to build the UI. So um, that's what I'm going to do now. All right, so this is the third day on this build. And uh, basically what I've done now, if we run it, so we can add something. We can just add whatever name we want and that'll add it to the list. And then here we print out all the tasks that are, get added. And then uh, we also get here day one, which is Monday. So what I've done is I've just added some random tasks here. So you can see it will sum up total time on Monday spent on this task is zero because I don't spend any time. On day two, it is one hour, which is this thing. So right now we get all the data that we want. Now we just have to put it onto the actual card. I have about one hour and 40 minutes. And uh, in that time, I'm gonna try to build this out. So these two screens, this one and uh, this one. Yeah, I'm gonna try to push hard and try to get that done in less than an hour and 40 minutes. Good luck. So um, this is where we're at right now. If I run it and we get this thing and then we can add a task and then press save and then it adds it to the list. And basically here we have all these tasks. Red is YouTube. So on Tuesday, there's a big task and that is displayed in the chart as well. And then here there's just a little short one. I've just made this up to kind of test uh, the app. Also, if I do this and go here and then add a new task, this should like, there should be something where you could do like a pull to update so that it should like load and update this. Uh, but I don't have that right now. But if I do app and then save, then it updates. So basically, now you can see that this bar is pretty similar to the one on Thursday, which is the case here as well. So yeah, that's, I think it's pretty, pretty neat to be honest. So what, what I have left to do is implement so that you can press this and then get to a different page where it's more of a detailed page. All right, so uh, today is Wednesday and uh, that means basically i need to finish this app today and even if i finish it today it's probably going to be too late because when you publish it to the app store i think it takes like a few days for it to actually release i'm gonna have to try to finish that today um, and see if i can publish it and all that like i think that means i need to be done with the whole thing by about four or five maybe today and if I manage to do that, then basically it's possible that I can post this video on Friday and also have the app out on Friday. But if I don't manage to publish it today, I will need to also film another video that I can post on Friday instead of this one. So I have a lot to do. It's 12 o'clock right now, so I have four hours to build out the next page and just do some final touches to the app. Also, I need to design a logo for the app so that I can have some sort of icon for the app. So I'll have to do that at some point. But now we're just going to start by building uh, this page out. All right, so I'm not sure exactly what day this is in the whole process, but um, it is Friday and it is 3 p.m., which means that I've officially failed at completing this app and publishing it at 3 p.m. So I had to make another video and post that, which is what I did. 
So that is out now. So right now we, the app looks like this and we get the cards with total time spent for the entire week. And you can add more tasks as you want, as you like. And you can press one of the cards and then you'll get a more specific uh, detailed view of that, that card. And then you can also now press the each bar and then you'll get a little card like this uh, that says the total uh, hours for that day. So Saturday, five hours and revenue is zero because I don't uh, earn any money for this. What I did this morning was I went through the app and looked at all the things that I need to get done. On the main page, the things that are left to do is uh, the log out button. There needs to be like a dialogue that opens. So right now, if I press log out, it just logs out straight away, uh, which is not very good because generally when you do when you press a log out button there should be like a window that comes up saying are you sure do you do you really want to log out uh, so that's what I, that's one of the things i need to add and then something on like the top here either a bar chart my idea is to have a bar chart that has all the different tasks something like that or I want to have something like similar to this but maybe a more full pie chart and then right now if i slide like that it permanently deletes that card so i can't get it back a good thing would be to have uh, a dialogue open up like are you sure are you sure you want to delete uh, this category so those are the things that i need to add as well and then also i want to add a pull to refresh so that if you do like this then it should refresh and then also add a delete button to the dialogue so if you open this thing up there should be something saying like delete here. Those are the last things. Actually also I need to add, oh, I need to create the logo for the app. So I need to create some sort of logo. Like I have a few ideas on uh, kind of what the logo might look like. So now I'm just gonna go through and uh, get all of these uh, tasks out of the way and done. All right, so uh, let's just start with the, the first task. Log out button dialogue. All right, so now I've fixed uh, the log out button. So now if I press log out and then you can press abort mission or you can press log out. If you press abort, then it goes back here. And if you press log out, then it will log out. I won't do that now because I can't be bothered, but that's what will happen. All right, so that is that task done. So we can tick that box. Yep. Next thing is message when deleting the cards. So um, we need to add that as well. Okay, so now I've tried to implement the pull to refresh. As you can see right now, it just says for YouTube, it just says on Thursdays. So I've added this event here and it's red. So if I pull to refresh now, then it should reload and should add a task here on Monday. So uh, let's try it. Yep, so it did. It added it to this card. It I don't know, it changes the locations of the card sometimes. I'm not sure why, but anyway, it added this uh, here. Uh, also, now if you delete that, it shows the dialog and then you can press cancel or do it. So now I'll move on to the details page and finish these last two tasks. Now it's time to design the logo for the app and I have a pretty good idea of uh, kind of what I want to want it to look like so that's what I'm going to do now. All right so I think that this is what I've landed in. This is what this one looks like. And um, maybe we should do just a still frame so you can see what this one looks like and then what the next one looks like. All right, so it's now Sunday and uh, today I 
probably will have to actually launch the app or like publish it to the app store and google play and uh, the last couple finishes that i've done is i've added so that on the top of the screen there's a chart so now you can see the like there's a little bit of it purple a little bit of green and same thing here a little bit of purple a little bit of red and that is basically for all the uh, tasks that we have that day but yeah, now I'm just going to add the splash screen and try to fix uh, this issue here. So now I've done fix that problem and I'll fix that problem. So basically all of the things that were left to fix have been finished. So now it's just time to publish it to the App Store. Alright, so the app is out now and I just downloaded it from the Google Play Store. It is out on the Apple App Store as well. I did set a price to the app, so it's going to be about 5 or $6 I think. I'm not sure because I had to put it down in Swedish Krones. Uh, but I think it's going to be about 5 or $6. And the reason being is simply that I figured that if you want to download it, you can kind of look at it as uh, supporting this channel which I don't expect you to do. I don't expect anyone to download this app because I know that it's kind of a lot of money for an app and there's probably better apps out there for this. But if you want to and if you feel like you want to support the channel even more, then you can. And in case you want to have a look, the link to both the Google Play Store and the App Store is in the description of this video. Anyway, this is what it looks like on my phone. And I've already set up the different categories that I have and I've planned my week. So basically what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna upload another video after this one where I go through the Google Calendar and kind of how I plan my week and then show you how I use this app in conjunction with Google Calendar. But I hope you enjoyed watching this video and kind of seeing my process of how I go from an idea of an app to an actual finished product that's launched and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for this one. Also, I'm thinking maybe I will use this uh, as some sort of merch, like every now and then I'll make an app and publish it to the App Store and Google Play Store, and I can make a video on how I make those apps, and then that will work as some sort of merch where you can purchase it and uh, support the channel.